And as we rise to another day So we fight for a better way yeah. And as we rise make me do say My name is Bella Ann Ndubisi And welcome to World Cancer Day 2023 walk Hosted by Project Pink Blue Every year more than 70,000 Nigerians die of cancer And these deaths can be preventable through early detection, through prevention, and through treatment. That's why today we're walking, we're running, we're skating, we're cycling against cancer and to create more awareness about this disease and create opportunities also for people to get free breast cancer, free prostate cancer screenings, and other screenings. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. One, one, two, three, one, two, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, don't worry. I'm wounded, and we can The diagnosis of a cancer is not, is not um, an end of life diagnosis. The diagnosis of cancer is not the end of life. There are still so many things that can be done, especially if cancer is caught early. So our focus, our emphasis should be on screening, trying to catch this disease at a stage that something can be done about it so that our patients can still be cured of cancer when discovered. There's no shame around knowing that someone has survived cancer. I have one breast, I say it all the time, and I'm not ashamed of it because it is a way of letting people know that you can survive cancer. We need the government to come in. We are talking about closing the care gap. Abroad, there are a lot of things that are put in place. The patients have their voices. But here, it's like the patient needs to even grovel. We beg. And to some extent, you don't blame us because we want to live. We cannot afford to continue to lose the youth of Africa, the youth of Nigeria, which are really the promise of Africa and promise for growth in Nigeria and beyond. Um, health is important and we actually call on the government and all private stakeholders as well to invest in health, to invest in actually improving the lives of the people that count in this country. I'm fighting for everyone, both kids, my mother, my dad, my sister, for everybody. We need to fight cancer, we need to kick cancer away. I think Nigerians need to be aware that they can kill. I have a relative who died of cancer, and I don't want anybody else to die of cancer. That's what we have today. Cancer is not, uh, 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 it's not communicable. You cannot get cancer from hugging somebody. Almost every organ of the body can experience cancer. From the head, to the legs, to the bones, to the eyes, every part. However, in Nigeria, we know that the, the commonest is what? The breast cancer. The breast cancer is the commonest, resulting for about 11,000 deaths per annum. At Pathfinder, we work to champion the sexual and reproductive health of women, and we know cervical cancer is one of the leading causes of um, death among women. So we are supporting this cause, championing this cause, supporting the project in order to ensure people go and check themselves because early detection saves life so we are trying to promote awareness on that. And this is a big deal for us at Project Pink Blue because Nigeria is a significant contributor to the um, world um, cancer burden and we all know that cancer has become a global health challenge and Nigeria is not left out. In 2020 alone we had over 120,000 people diagnosed with cancer and over 72,000 of these people died of cancer and over 40,000 children die of childhood cancers every year. Cervical cancer is quite preventable and you know this is a call to action for the government to place emphasis on this cancer that can be prevented with the vaccine, with screenings so that people can have access and also a call to action for people to take their health seriously. Nigerians have a very poor health seeking behavior. People think it's not important to go for screenings. We say there's no money, but we do so many things, you know, with money that we can channel to screenings and, you know, other prevention. Please watch out for your health, what you eat, what you drink, where you stay, and, you know, other modifiable risk factors so that we can cut down the scourge of cancer in Nigeria. Cancer drugs and cancer treatments are expensive and so we we'll use the opportunity of World Cancer Day to call on the authorities to increase the number of specialist hospitals, provide facilities for oncologists to be able to do their work, 
and to provide the radiology and other machinery and um, devices that are required to treat and prevent cancer. We also call on the authorities to remove the excise duties on the purchase of cancer treatment drugs and facilities. Finally, Nigeria committed to the Abuja Health Declaration to commit 15% of its national budget to health. We are calling on the government to do a lot more at both federal and state level to ensure that its budget makes allowance not only for health care, but specialist care to ensure that cancer becomes a thing of the past for our community. And as we rise to another day, so we fight for a better way. We encourage you all next year to please join us as it's the only opportunity for us to stand firm on all our commitments towards fighting the disease, cancer, and closing the care gap.